And then, that, well, I had. <laughs> you know. When you were what? 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 When I was what? What? <laughs> Anyway, uh, police-wise, uh, there was really nothing exciting. I never had to pull a gun on, well, I did pull a gun on one kid. How about the tape I made for you? Oh, wait, geez. we didn't get to end that. <laughs> Next tape. Or, oh, wait, video yeah. or audio? Audio. Oh, <laughs> thank God. <laughs> so then when I get, finally like come back this, home... Yeah. Probably Jim Resky. No, he's a black guy. Black guy. Oh, I okay. swear to God, Nana. So, welcome to the 32nd episode of The Moving Outcast. Do, 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 do. Woo. So, today we have me, Jono. Franny. Andrew. Mom. Dad. Cool. Other than Grandy. What? That doesn't matter. Shut up. AKA Grandy. Yes. So, um. Nona. And Nona. <laughs> Grungy and owner. So, real quick, Dad, what kind of motorcycles out in the garage? Harley Davidson. Like a give details. Oh, it's an 07 Deuce. Last year they made them. It's a cruiser, not a bagger. It's a, a sport bike. Uh, the only year they had a six speed. So they went to a ninety six inch ninety six inch engine hypothetically yeah if you were walking down the street tomorrow and uh, a stampede of elk came through and trampled you to death who would legally get that motorcycle <laughs> christ just a <clears throat> no no whoever won their arm wrestling challenge i guess okay i'm just wondering legally i don't i <laughs> I'll Realistically, pass. I guess it would be you, the only only one with a uh, license. Okay. Mom, mom so seems Andrew to think doesn't that have one yet. I'll I'll pass. It's fine. Mom <laughs> thinks that she would get it. And she I don't know what she would do with it. But. Well, she plans to hawk it or just sell it for whatever okay, she can. Yeah, buy jewelry. Okay. You can have it so, for two hundred dollars. So I'm just wondering if you could officially legally right now on this recording say that i uh i would like to see this bike go to you upon my death cool meet you as in jonathan rusnak your yeah, second jonathan person. kyle rusnak cool the and i thing. would like to see the money for cool. it okay no i just i just figured i'd get that <laughs> All right, hidden agendas so that was the that, that was the priority that was the pri- that was the number one yep Thing we okay, we're done. Thank you for listening <laughs> to the 30 second episode of the That's movie. it, guys. Thanks okay. for listening. All right. Good night. So, uh, 30 second How about episode. the Corvette? I, you know, after almost getting killed for driving it, I don't, yeah. I don't care. It's, well, it's not a Mustang. I don't know if Andrew wants it. I know that uh, Rachel. Rachel wants it. I'll take and it. She does look good going down the street in it. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> well, I guess she could take Andrew with her on rides. She looks good. <laughs> I don't know. Francis. Francis might want it. I, I can't drive stick. No, you can't drive. Okay, that's Rachel then. Mm-hmm. All right. Your mother could drive stick, but she doesn't want to. And we'll get into that. So, we are finally, we're going to, I looked back. We had um, Dad's first episode, part one. Mom has a part one and a part two, and dad actually needs a part two where we discuss 1970 to 1980 ish i guess 1985 uh but i think since we're all here together right now we're gonna start in 1985 when they met you're passing up 15 years of my life (laughs) (laughs) 
Wait, what, what happened in 85? You guys met. You met. No, we got married, I think. I don't remember. Well, you guys got married like a week after you met. Well, I was just yeah. wondering, do you, no. can we, since we're both here today, oh, can yeah. we get... Maybe we did meet in 85. <laughs> do you want to start there, or do you want to just breeze through... Go, you're, you're the narrator. Go back uh, to his... Well, to producer Jonathan. Because you're not going to get him sitting here. I think we should go through the seven days and then pick up where they met. Okay, cool. So uh, I uh, kind of think the opposite while well, they're both here, get them both to talk. Yeah, but you don't get him sit down very often. So. Okay, let's True. just do it all. Now, what year did we meet? <laughs> there Why we go. Why did we this meet? Is going to be quite informative. <laughs> so nineteen, I had I had the uh, Ford Ranger pickup truck. Okay, we're not talking about. So it was yet. after the vet. He's, what? We're not talking. Go this, back to where did you leave? This off? is what. It, okay, nineteen seventy. You've been a cop for a couple months. Yeah, yeah, it was uh, went on in '69. Yeah, and then, then well, I had <laughs> no. when you were what? 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 When I was what? What? <laughs> Never mind. Keep going. <laughs> okay, yeah, I was a cop. About it was about a year. Uh, you did it at the had had a, uh, what? You went through the Baltimore Training Academy. Yeah, the Howard County didn't have an academy yet, so we went to Baltimore City's Academy. There were five of us: me, Don Bathgate, Sheldon Greenberg, Jew. Yes, but a good man. <laughs> well, despite his fall. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Uh, never Sheldon Greenberg, Wade White, and uh, Tommy Watkins. <laughs> and what were they? They were the Howard County guys. We were, yeah, we were the Howard yeah. County guys at the Baltimore City Academy. So I remember seeing um, a, a photo of you guys. I think there were like sixty of you guys, and like four of them had big aviator sunglasses and beards. And I think they were like undercover or narcotics. I don't recall that picture. Oh. Uh, the pictures I have are of uh, those those first years we had what was called a smoky, smoky the bear hats, you know the flat saucers. Nine points. No, 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 flat saucer. Like the navy. No, not even like the navy. I don't know. Quiet, yeah, you. which I had one, but I couldn't keep one when we uh, went to uh, regular, uh, what they call milkman hats. Those are the nine points, or yeah, those are nine point nine hats. Points. Yeah. Did but, you uh, did you talk to Dad about why he became a cop and all that in the previous? He wanted to kill out hippies out of the army, I think. Yeah, it was well, just a refresher. Uh, I was an MP in the army, and that was enjoyable. I mean, you know, it's not like you're digging ditches or uh, shooting soldiers Nazis. shooting Nazis or, uh, you know, crawl, many, crawling along the ground under barbed wire. How many Nazis were there in, in Vietnam? In Vietnam War? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Probably not too many. I, w- I went back and listened to the, the last the, the episode to refresh. We made so many World War II references, and he was really nice and was like, "Completely uh, wrong war." We were like, "So when you par- when when you got to um, Okinawa, and he was like, um, so so how was the beach of Normandy? <laughs> yeah. uh, it was hell. It was hell. It was hell. <laughs> we were in uh, Sword Beach. No, where was it? Juno. One of the two. I think Canada. Whichever so. one was worse. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> anyway, That's I lucked I out. I lucked out, and I went to Germany and had a ball. There you go. But you getting back to police was that something yeah, that you to, always uh, wanted police. to do, or I, you know, actually, coincidentally, a student I had today asked me that because she was very inquisitive, asking me all about my life. Oh wow! Uh, is that and she flat out said, "Is that something you wanted to do?" Uh, it's not like I grew up want, wanting to be a cop. Like, you know, some kids want to like grow me? up to be a dentist or, or a fireman. Um, I was an MP, and it was enjoyable. What actually happened was uh, I was working as a, an insurance adjuster 
and met a guy who became later my better friend, my best friend, Harry. Uh, he all his life wanted to be a cop, and he had talked me into taking the Howard County uh, entrance exam. So uh, I did, and uh, I passed it, and he failed it. So uh, two weeks later, I uh, was sent to the academy. Now, eventually, Harry did pass it and, and uh, became a cop. So uh, it, it was it my lifelong dream? No, uh, it was a career. Uh, and you look good in the light blue shirt. That, yeah, match my eyes. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I don't regret it. The first 10 years were fun. Uh, you're young and, you know, out there gotta, telling people what to do. And go. Howard County was a lot safer place back then. Oh, yeah. Heck, yeah, it was. Yeah. Heck, was 29 was dark. a two-laid road. Columbia Mall was a cow pasture. Okay, so here's the first. Uh, was there a story about when I think you were by... Was it, what's what's the that place where they have the concerts? Merriweather. Merriweather. You were in Merriweather, and I think you were having your lunch in your car, and someone pulled up and asked you how to get to Ellicott City. <laughs> that no, that was that was more than once. Uh, that was one of my favorite hangouts to to have my coffee, the Merriweather uh, entrance, and um, people would see the car and come up and say, "How do I, uh, officer? Hello." Uh, how can I get to such and such? And I would look him right in the eye and say, I'm sorry, you can't get there from here. <laughs> and they would give me the strangest looks till I started laughing and said, now here, let me tell you how to get there. But uh, that was that was one of the fun things I did. It's so good, because they're, they're like scared because they don't want to be like, I, he's a cop. I, I, yeah. Is he serious? <laughs> That's so awesome. I hadn't heard of that before. I love that. I, that was one of my favorite. Like I, I talk about that all the time because like you, it. We were Frank and I were walking down um, <clears throat> downtown Frederick once, and this old couple came up. They drove up next to us on the main street, and they had a smartphone hooked up on their dashboard, and they they asked us directions to somewhere, and we we're just like. Why the hell are you not Googling it? Yeah. Like, GPS. Why does anyone ask anyone? Dad, you don't have a smartphone. That's fine. You, you can't Google it. Everyone else has a smartphone and can Google and GPS their way places. Nope. See? Speak of that. The phone just bleeped. Well, again, said. this was this was in the 70s, 80s. Oh, oh, we, didn't have yeah. cell, we didn't even have cell phones. But, like, it's just people still to this day ask. Yeah. And it's like, just Google it. Oh, sorry. That's just... And that was probably the woman that made the man pull over and ask. Yeah. <laughs> we are never <laughs> lost. So, anyway, uh, police-wise, uh, there was really nothing exciting. I never had to pull a gun on... Well, I did pull a gun on one kid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there, there was that shoot. one guy. We're not talking about your, your own children, though. No. That was you, Mom. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll talk really. about that. That's uh, definitely a soundbite, though, for the beginning. Never got shot at. Uh, <laughs> back in those days, it, you know, it was a big deal to to get a call out of the western part of the county. There, there's a there's a horse in the street blocking Seriously. traffic. So you know, it was Go things like it. that. It was our <laughs> county was just country. It was like I say, twenty nine was a two lane road. It hadn't been developed. Yeah. Mm. But mm -hmm. uh, you gradually saw it grow and get worse. Mm. It started out with the younger people saying yes, sir, no, sir. Eventually to... Uh, Wait, what do you mean by that? Yes, sir, no, sir. Let me see your driver's license. Yes, sir. So they were polite. Yes. Is what you're trying to say. Oh, uh, to where it got to, sagging. let me see your license. Uh, <clears throat> go screw yourself. Yeah. <laughs> what did I do wrong? You're harassing me. Mm -hmm. You're a, a pig. I'm a sovereign citizen. Yeah. I'm a Muslim. And <laughs> nowadays it's like, I've got you recorded on video, man. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I missed, I missed those days. Yeah. yeah. It was before my time, but, or after my time. Uh, 
anyway, I, again, I wish I could tell you some exciting stories about being a cop, but, but I can't. There, there were some interesting things. I did take a rifle off a kid who threatened to kill his family. Oh, cool. Just talked him out of it. Damn. Uh, I did. I was the first one approach, to approach a house where we knew a guy was in there with a gun, threatened to kill himself. Again, talked him out of it. We didn't have uh, hostage negotiator, negotiators back then. But anyway. Wow. Uh, and most of it was, you know, some of it was, well, not most, but some of it was sad. Uh, suicides, crib deaths, serious accidents. Crib deaths? Crib deaths. A That's baby weird. dies in its sleep oh, overnight. Sits. Horrible, sits, sits, horrible. Yeah. Sits. But uh, I don't miss it at all. Uh, like I said, the first 10 years was fun, but then shift work gets to you. Uh, you work holidays, you work Christmas, uh, Thanksgiving. Did you rotate shift shifts? work. Yeah. yeah. It, uh, it did get better toward the end. They did make a permanent midnight shift, which I hated. Mm. Couldn't stay awake. Shift work is just literally, instead of Monday through Friday, it's two on, two off, three on. No, shift work is days of the uh, hours of the day. Day shift was is like 8 to 5. Evening yeah. shift is like three to twelve. So like midnight shift is like eleven to seven. Okay. Because midnight shift is working the graveyard shift, right. the midnight yeah. shift. Yeah. Okay. Like right right now, Howard. County. Total darkness. Yeah. Mm. They're um, in more than one way. Relax. Yeah. Now they have a they well they they had back then. They uh, came up with a permanent midnight shift. The guys that like midnight shift. Mm -hmm. Worked it permanently. The rest of us sh uh, did day and evenings. I think right now they're on a because uh, I, I was talking to them when I was at the firehouse, and they have a seven p.m. to seven a.m., a nine a.m. to nine p.m., and then nine p.m. to nine a.m. So that they're twelve-hour shifts from yeah. either seven to seven or nine to nine, and then they have that two-hour. Oh, that's different. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. well, yeah. you were 10 well. Shift hours. shifts always change. It yeah. changed a couple of times while I was a cop. Mm -hmm. Basically, it was uh, we had ten hour days. Yeah, yeah, four ten hours, and now it's off work four off three. Well, the way they do it now, it's three on three two three three two three or something. Where yeah. one week you work two days technically, the next week you work five days, but you end up. Yeah, there's all kinds of ways you can do it. You get like but the, the point was weekend. coverage, total yeah. coverage. <clears throat> but then you made so, sergeant, right? Actually, I uh, set the record for making sergeant yeah. in, in the least amount of time. Um, you were known as like the ghost sergeant or well, the shadow the sergeant. Sergeant Stealth. <laughs> That's the one, yeah. Well, you made sergeant in five years, right? Yeah. And I think... And that's a... That was a record. I think from wow. talking, you literally, now you can't even become corporal without five years. No. I think. I think that's like a rule Howard County has right now. So literally, no one can beat that. No, that's, well, that's true. Well, thank you. I've, All right. <laughs> that's <laughs> something nice. Yeah. 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 I, I remember hearing that when I was a police explorer, explorer, explorer. That like you, you need at least five years to go corporal and then another couple to go sergeant. I actually had a chance to make lieutenant. Uh, was what went through the process, the interview, the written exams, and all that. But uh, I didn't do very well because I really didn't want it. Yeah. Because the new lieutenant would be going to midnight shift. <laughs> so when they when they do the uh, the interview, they're like, "So in a hostage situation, what would you do? Run, shoot, <laughs> run, <laughs> shoot through the hostage <laughs> on a fleshy part, fall asleep." No, I uh, I did it more subtly. Yeah, yeah, but I I, I hate I, Jews. I, I had to do it. I had to go through the process, but I didn't want to get it. So, yeah, so. they made you apply. Oh yeah, you, well, it was expected of you. You were expected to want promotion. Once you're promoted, they just kind of want to fast track you up and get you yeah. promoted. Yeah. yeah, that's all. That's like the draft. It's like, like 
they force you into the military and then they're like so uh let's do these physical tests and you're just like uh maybe i'll just literally shit my pants right now and make them think i'm <laughs> mentally not able or something that wouldn't have worked <laughs> no, they when they got you the military's got you they got you i i pretended to be deaf and, uh, <laughs> but it, it didn't work i can't hear what you're doing so they actually actually what? gave a hearing test with the hair headphones and all and a, Hi. <laughs> <laughs> doctor would say you know push the button when you hear it I said I don't hear it but uh he passed me he passed me you can hear from the from outside the headphones like <laughs> like all the windows are shaking you're full of shit <laughs> pass it, it didn't work uh. <laughs> alright so that's through the police department what are we up to into the 80s that's but, it like what? nothing. That's it. Again, I wish I could tell you a big, you know, exciting story, but no. Nah, there was a the bank one, robbery, and you, yeah. you used yourself as a human shield was, to protect a pregnant mother, and no, there the what, what we no. call the uh, St. John's Jewelers robbery oh, was it was a go. big incident, but I wasn't even working; I was off. <laughs> Uh, I remember nine wasn't eleven. Wasn't I wasn't it. there. Uh, the uh, the, the great the great flood, Saint Ag uh, or uh, uh, Hurricane Agnes in seventy mm-hmm. nine. Yeah, I was off. I couldn't Ag- save anybody in Ellicott City. Sitting at home jerking off. Uh, Is that the one uh, that where Mom said we're not supposed to ask about? Huh? I remember. Well, well Mom, you're here. Remember. I think Andrew remembers it too. We were always told not to ask Dad about the summer of 1970 because he was a fresh cop oh, and geez. had to pull dead bodies out of water. Yeah, I do remember. I never well, said anything. Did Grandma say that? Did people just tell us lies? I I remember that. Yeah, I don't know like, a thing about like, that. Like, well, that babies that, that happened. We yeah. we had a uh, drowning in. Uh, I forget what that reservoir is called at the Howard County Montgomery County line. Had a drowning, and uh, but I wasn't there. So no, I was there. I was there. For that one. <laughs> I don't know that it was that traumatic, or why anybody would say don't talk about it. But, no, it's the crib deaths and uh, yeah, the uh, fatal accidents, fatal uh, automobile accidents. That's what you don't really want to talk or think about. What about when um didn't uh. I was with the uh, West Friendship Fire Department. Didn't one of those guys hit your car? Your yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There was a serious accident on seventy, and I was on thirty-two uh, toward Clarksville. Mm. So I hit my lights and siren and head up thirty-two to seventy to help. And uh, coming up on. 144 Frederick Road car in front of me turned I was in the right lane he turned to the left at the intersection and I thought he was yielding to me to go by actually he was making a wide right turn to get to the fire to get to the firehouse (laughs) so I hit him (laughs) spun the car around a couple times and ended up in the median nobody hurt but uh, I got charged with it. Damn. You got ne- charged. Never made it to the accident. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's... He uh, hit he, him. He hit him. Yeah. Okay. Even though you you were a cop. Wait, wait. Who, who got in trouble? That. I got in trouble. But the firefighter... Let's promote that man. But you were going straight, and the dude whipped around... And cut you off, like yeah. Am, am I am I wrong? He's I don't. Behind. I don't think I was at fault, but <laughs> they they put me at fault. No big deal. Well, I did I, maybe break. a day's vacation or something like that was the penalty. <laughs> oh, okay. uh, so it was no big. <laughs> Took deal. him out back and whipped him. Just God, the, I miss the eighties. Just the embarrassment of it. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. Uh, that was it. What about the other time you wrecked a car? A cruiser? Yeah. Well, one time a kid on a sled hit me. Well, uh, when you were transferring a prisoner? 
Wait, I want to hear about the kid oh. on the sled. <laughs> I was parked to have a coffee. There was a hill behind me. And this kid jumped down the hill on his sled and hit, hit his head on my bumper. But he was all right. I wasn't there. <laughs> I wasn't there. <laughs> I was in the coffee shop. Uh, transporting a prisoner. An wasn't accident. there? You were on the other side of a highway? Well, no. I wasn't transporting a prisoner. I was picking up. I was going to pick up a prisoner from another gotcha. officer to take. Yeah. So that's what it was. Yeah. I. Uh, we decided to meet along Montgomery Road. And wherever we f- met, we'd meet. So he was coming toward me, and I'm going up, and I see him, and he sees me. So I pull over to the right, and I'm going to make a U-turn to go up and meet him. So I put my signal on, and I'm getting ready to make the U-turn, and I see this car coming, and it looked like they slowed down. I see the front end drop. So I make my U-turn, and boom, <laughs> she hit me. <coughs> she she Muslim. <laughs> <laughs> and when you say so, coffee do you really mean beer scotch now he meant coffee, coffee. <laughs> uh, so again i was charged it was my fault jesus christ <laughs> let's promote that man <laughs> fastest in history <laughs> And, and, oh, I got, I got, tr- I got trouble I- for a couple. The of irony things. here is that he now teaches how to, to drive. drive in school. <laughs> well, I thought they were slowing. Point, I thought they were stopping. Point. So I mean, <laughs> actually, one time I got in trouble. Uh, there was a, a, a radio show, uh, Larry Glick out of uh, W something, W Q R P in Cincinnati. That uh, sounds no, about right. Uh, w R C. Anyway, it was a talk show at night that we all listened to. So uh, at the time, I was uh, sharing an apartment with uh, Harry and uh, Don Cook. And we decided to give Larry a call just to talk because it was a talk show. And uh, we got through, and we're all talking to him back, you know, taking turns. And he's asking, you know, what it's like to be a Howard County cop. And... Don's going on explaining to him, but it's it's just a uh, farmland, and we chase cows out of the road, and <laughs> you know, no big deal, nothing ever exciting. Well, somebody, some other cop heard the interview and didn't like it, and told the chief about it. So the oh. chief calls us in. He didn't like it. He said, uh, you, did, you were representing Howard County Police Department, blah, 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 blah. You give us a bad day, blah, 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 blah. So I think that was a day's vacation, too. <laughs> they have a lot of vacation. Oh, yeah. yeah they, they love taking your vacation away from you. So. But, uh, Take a day, Rusnak. You know, it was something stupid. We shouldn't have done. Oh, my. That's good. All right. So, what year did we beat, honey? I don't know. You don't know. <laughs> so, what we got is mom came to Maryland in 1981. <laughs> One. Um, dated a firefighter from 1983. Oh. A fighter fire? No. Was that the black one? <laughs> no, wait. <laughs> Africa. Stop. Just... The one with the pinup picture. <laughs> <laughs> no. I was down here a couple of years. Then the divorce, got divorced, it became final. Dated a couple of different people. Black people. And then friends decided to set us both up because I wasn't dating anyone at the time and dad, I guess, had broken up with his second wife. I don't know. <laughs> Third, fourth. A bit second. Second. So we were set up. It was from... It was one of the nurses I work with was married at the time. Did they get married by then? I forget. I think so. To one I'm talking about Jenny? Yeah, Jenny and uh, Damn, Bill. Damn, you still remember Bill. them? Huh? Uh, you, like, remember the names. That's, oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, they're still alive. Yeah, they're. <laughs> Once they die, we forget them. <laughs> <laughs> so they decided to set us up and arrange for a date that it was going to be a group date so that we wouldn't all be uncomfortable. And we decided to go to a Baltimore Orioles game. 
Oh, fun. And we all went in Jimmy Resky's station wagon, if I recall. No, you went in my pickup truck, which you criticized me for. Really? Yes. Wasn't that? No, that was my sec- or second date. Oh, okay. That was the second date? Yeah, we okay, were all in right. the same car. Jimmy Resky's station wagon does ring a bell. Okay. Was it like a Brady Bunch wood panel? Kind of, sort of, I think. <laughs> Maybe. That's what I'm picturing. <laughs> that's what I'm picturing. I don't care if it was or wasn't. That's what that's I'm picturing. What <laughs> <laughs> but before that, I kind of knew, thought I knew who he was from coming into the ER. And I wasn't so sure. We, I, a lot I, of cops, we, cops what would do you go mean? in oh, yeah, for yeah. So you, you, you met each other in passing, like... Yeah, because you go in, we'd, we'd have to go in for uh, personal injury accidents. And so you saw her. Kara was working the ER. You checked her out. You're like, damn. Yeah, she had. I yeah, she looked cute. Yeah. And she's 110 pounds. I'd get that. Yeah. I said, I would. I would. Throw I was that not out interested in him. Did <laughs> mom was like, Ugh. she's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like he just got hit by a firefighter. <laughs> and. But he thought it was important that we <coughs> met face to face and talked before this first date. And that's when he pulled you over. Yeah. So I was, I believe, coming Wait, out true? of my apartment on my way going to work, and he was coming home off his late shift, and he saw me and decided to pull me over. And I was like, Jesus! Now I'm running late for work, and I had to get pulled always over. Always late. You're always late. <laughs> <laughs> Then I was like, oh, it's him. I was like even more ticked off and didn't want to go. <coughs> but I don't remember. what it, Did we even talk to each other? He just pulled you over and sat with his lights on behind you for like 15 minutes. No, he <laughs> came over. <laughs> but I don't the remember. The only time I remember something. stopping you was to remind you you needed milk. No, that was later on when later, we were dating. I don't remember that was later on you. We were da- that was the first time. That was before we went out on the date. I don't remember date. the first time. Right. Then a couple other what, what, times what, what, we what were dating, the, what, what and I was with a girlfriend time? going shopping, and he was at his favorite coffee hangout on the driveway of Merriweather, and right on 175, he pulled me over again, <laughs> and I, till this day, I was just came home from New York with my girlfriend, Anne, and I kept looking for the cops parked there, and she's like, you really have a problem with getting pulled over, don't you? I was like, yes, <laughs> man, yes, I do. Cops. You're like super paranoid. <laughs> And cops, drugs. cops, man, cops. <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 but wait, so the first, the first meeting, I told what I thought was a story last time, where you were going to an O's game. Dad pulled you over to mess with you, and then um, you went there in anger and stuff. So you got off your shift. You were heading home. That was before we went to the game. Yeah, you're. I I was going. No, he got off his shift. I was going into mine, so I was running late, and he's pulling me over. Okay. And then, so he was off shift. So he's hanging. So de- so you pulled mom over, knowing that you guys are going to an O's game that night. Or, oh, I don't. Re- I don't remember this stop. <laughs> you don't remember Our, it. No. I, no. She I does, was four I don't. coffees in. <laughs> I was stopping all kinds of women back then. So I don't. <laughs> I get them all mixed up. <laughs> Just like mom got all the guys mixed, up. all the firefighters. <laughs> but so, wow. Like I say, the only time I remember stopping was a uh, uh, reminder to get milk. And what other time was I had eaten shrimp for lunch. Oh boy, we were dating for a long time by then. He's jumping. Yeah, well, he's jumping. What's, no. what's, so what's we, ha- we had a second date. I had to go to the. We're not at the first date yet. We're yeah. done. We're, we're still. <laughs> we're done with you. Drank too much game. beer. Yeah. I should have known then. No, but, 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 <laughs> that, that was but a so, problem. So you guys, she wasn't interested, but she went out again and again. <laughs> no, and again. I wasn't interested. <laughs> <laughs> She and kept coming back is it for true more. What they say about the polls. And I had to go. We were going to a hospital picnic, and the same people. Said, this is farm right down the road at Nixon Farm down the road. It was yeah, the hospital. Down thirty two. Right. Picnic or, or, and the same, the same two p- yeah. original people were like, "Well, why don't you two go together? And it's right up the road from where Andy lives. Why don't we stop over there for drinks?" 
And I was like, yeah, it was a strawberry all daiquiris. right. Mm. So yeah, I, I, I remember up, that. He wanted to show off this house because back then cops didn't have houses quite this nice and in this neighborhood. And it was fairly newly built. So he wanted to show that off thinking that that would entice me to like him more. Let's come back to and my he, place, he baby. He also decided, found out that I drank. I guess at the time, strawberry daiquiris. So he went over to the farm and tried to pick strawberries himself Aww. to make these daiquiris, thinking that it, oh, that was oh so sweet. But it wasn't so sweet. They were the most sour strawberries. <laughs> <laughs> That's we adorable. <laughs> <pesticide>. <laughs> yeah, so I thought, kept having to add sugar that to these drinks. It was like a fox that pissed on oh, them like an hour ago. By the time I went to that Bugs. picnic. But anyway. <laughs> but, that was date two. That's really cute. Yeah. Like, I know, Dad was, we ran out of something. It had to go down you queer. to West Friendship. <laughs> and you went with me, and I think you tried to steal a kiss then for a uh, kiss. Uh, 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 <laughs> I, had a, but she was, I hadn't even kissed her then. <laughs> All these firemen, and I haven't even kissed her yet. Because <laughs> I didn't like you. <laughs> you but still she don't. was there. <laughs> but... <laughs> She kept coming back. She just loved punishment. <laughs> you guys, still at the first date. You guys met <sighs> somewhere, got in a station wagon, all drove up to the O's game. Yeah. Watched the O's game and just, uh, that was it? There was no. Then we went to another O's game. We did. By ourselves. In the Later truck. that night. I, no, we went, we went to, in the truck to the. The picnic, I think, and I, I was like, "Really, this okay, is what you right, drive a tr- pickup truck?" I'm from New York. That was the second like, day. Really, okay. a pickup truck? <laughs> it was a nice truck. It was. <laughs> was that the really it, dark green Ford Ranger? No, it was before that. It was silver with red interior. Mm. Ranger vinyl. Yeah. Nice. So you had a couple of Rangers. I sold it to Juan. In order, oh, in, in order to get money to buy my engagement ring. I miss one. That's the car that he sold? <laughs> wow. It's a nice truck. <laughs> <laughs> it's an okay ring. It's a stick shit. <laughs> <laughs> three on the floor. <laughs> three, three gears. Three? <laughs> anyway, so, all right, move ahead here. What do we got? And then, I don't know, but I do remember that I went to the ocean with a bunch of girls and I was hoping to meet up Uh, with somebody else down there. (laughs) But that person was meeting up with somebody else and I was pissed off. So I called him to see if he wanted to come down. (laughs) Wow. And he couldn't. I need some dick. (laughs) Yeah, like really. (laughs) Jesus, Nona. (laughs) Just uh, couldn't find anybody there. Partying. Good at finding black guys ready there. <laughs> there was a yeah. party at our house. And so. then dad, dad's even worse because he's like, yeah, I'll drive three and a half hours. <laughs> so he said he couldn't do no, it. Thanks, but I don't have time. He sent flowers instead. So oh, that's he didn't where I'm even get these stories. He sent flowers down there, and then when I came back, wait, he couldn't go, so he sent s- flowers to apologize that he couldn't go down. I was like, that's okay. Dang, I didn't want you to anyway. That's, but That's where I get all my charm. <laughs> How about the tape I made for you? Oh, wait, geez. we didn't get that. <laughs> the next tape. Or oh, wait. Video yeah. or audio? Audio. Oh, <laughs> thank God. <laughs> so then when I get, finally like come back home, man. when I come back home, he had gotten the key to my car and the key to my apartment. Maybe How? not the apartment, but the key from the Sharon. Sharon. <laughs> <laughs> and my car was all detailed and shiny and waxed the with Celica. yellow ribbons all over it. And so was my apartment door had yellow ribbons, like welcome home kind of thing. Aww. And this is after the second date? That was desperate. Close. Maybe the third. <laughs> yeah, that was close. That's <laughs> horny. <laughs> so this is where all my stories got mixed. Because I thought, like, it sounds like a bunch of this stuff happened and, and changed. Because I thought it was... He pulled her over, and she mm-hmm. was late to the game, and then she went away for a week, and Dad broke no, into her no. house and, and yeah. left the gifts. But <laughs> so then I guess we started seeing each that other more. That was a cop that just broke into her house. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an officer of the law. I didn't break into her house. <laughs> what he was talking about was 
we I guess after we started dating, had spending time together, I was over at his house, and I had to go home because I was throwing a baby shower, I think, for a friend in my apartment the next day or something like that. And I had to go home and make, I don't know, macaroni salad or something. <laughs> And, I, and I remember that I, I had yeah. ran low or was running out of mayonnaise. So I had mentioned that I had to leave and go and get mayonnaise. But I guess for some reason he thought I had forgotten about it. So he came after me in the car and on Route 40 he kind of pulled me over or stopped me or something. Sounds to like remind, Dad really to remind me Yeah, stopped you. Powers. Pull over, lady. <laughs> to, to remind me to get mayonnaise. <laughs> I thought it was milk. Up. It was mayonnaise. Okay. <laughs> it was mayonnaise. That makes it better. But for some reason, Dukes. that's what did it. This episode brought to you by Duke's Mayo, the real mayo. <laughs> the tape didn't do it? The mayo that that's made what for did love. It when, when the fact that he thought enough <clears throat> to follow me, that that was important to remind me of that. For some reason, that was what clicked and that's when i fell for him you just gave in you're like all right enough's enough (laughs) that's when she started letting me stay at her apartment (laughs) oh oh (laughs) and it wasn't the rest is history it wasn't that long till i did till i actually did move in here yeah then a year later you had me because juan lived here and then he felt juan lived here yeah one juan's Juan's room was your first bedroom. Wow. I think. Rachel's room. Yeah, we're Rachel. Wait, so when when did Juan move in? How did you meet Juan? I met Juan at Royal Farms store. We were both working there part-time. Was it called... You worked at Royal Farms? Yes. Was it called Royal Farms or was it called... Royal Farms Chicken. It was called something else. The one before that. In Delicate City by, uh, by the Arbor. This is an arm. Oh, this is oh, okay. Damn, yeah. you worked there. Yeah, the midnight shift. <laughs> Fucking midnight shift. Just as a cashier. Yeah, I worked two jobs my whole life, practically. You've worked about thirty six hundred jobs. He's worked a lot. There's yeah. not a rofo there anymore, though, right? No. I th- oh, sure. I'm, uh, well, I don't know. I don't. I don't think there's. Yeah. No, I think it is gone. It is gone. Did you guys ever? Actually, Juan was at my first roommate. <laughs> uh, the odor's son worked there part time too, and he he was he was you know he's not a teenager. He was in his thirties, I think. But he had split up with his wife, and he needed a place to stay. So I put him up here, rent. Yeah. That he yeah. couldn't pay the rent. So you so kicked his ass out. out. Yeah. You fucking excuse hippie. Me, then Juan started. <laughs> excuse me. Juan started working. So Juan was just. Juan needed a place. He was like, oh, hero. I he knew, was just hero, like yeah, a Korean hero. guy or Vietnamese. Vietnamese. Yeah, sorry. I'm sorry. That's offensive. So he Vietnamese moved in. And he. That worked out pretty good. Started doing your taxes. No, no, no. He didn't. No, he just. Tailored his he shoes. He was a computer geek. He, he, if he wasn't working, he would spend his time up there building computers. Punch cards. Because <laughs> it was the 80s. Whatever. <laughs> Giant rotating. <laughs> <laughs> the electric bill was. And you said he moved because you <laughs> crazy. were crazy. I think when I moved in, I think is when he moved, he moved out shortly out. afterwards. Really? Did you call him Oriental or something? Which did you know that's technically no, because actually he didn't not want it. Yeah, it's it's a bad thing. It smells like kimchi and computers in here. Where's the dog? Oh, I'm one. I'm sorry. <laughs> Why just, are you I keep He's worrying. Everybody's in the backyard. I just I'm so sorry, Juan. I know eat your goddamn <laughs> Good dog. Good guy. No, but seriously, Oriental no, we, is not we a bad word. Became clo- we stayed close no. for many years with it's him. Not. Oh, and he not, became yeah. your sister's godfather, if you recall. Oh, yeah. So yeah. Oriental just literally, My who? literally oh. means... What? No. My who's god what? He pretends he doesn't have a sister. The Oriental's godfather. If you say Asian, that could actually mean Middle Eastern, Russian, a Indian. whole bunch of stuff. Indian. Yeah. So Oriental just means actually of the Far East 
Asian what we think of Asian. It doesn't actually... It's not racist. It's, I thought it's a Orient and Oriental were bad words. Nope. That's just no. People, no. people being dumb. Hmm. Democrats. So, Ma moved in, kicked Juan out. Yeah. <laughs> Bitch. But actually, I do remember... You asked me to move in and me saying, no, not until... That stinky Asian. I have a ring. Wow. (laughs) Okay. So, so shortly, that's when we decided we'd get engaged. So So roughly two to three weeks. He never got down on his knee and really asked me. I was like, no, not moving in until I get a ring. You don't remember what happened. Just like this. What, he just like flick a ring at your face and be like, bitch, be my wife. And then I called my mother. and we then were, she said, come up here and we'll help you find a ring. No, <laughs> he's, no he said he sold a We were in to- New York staying at your mother and father's. It was in the evening and we went to bed and I proposed to you. Oh, You did? Yes. Did you get down on her knee? The next, no, we were in bed. Oh, that's how I proposed to Franny the first time. I, I have drunk. no mm. idea or no memory of this. So you're just like laying next Where to each other. Where do you think I asked you? We were out on, well, what was your the little deck with the trees surrounding, and we had the conversation when we decided to okay, we'll get married. No, what? Karen, this is what the I remember for sure. <laughs> Worst because decision the next, of my the life. The next morning, you announced it to the family. I'm getting and, married. And our, there's something about Gail. Gail. Well, Gail was getting married. Getting engaged too. For the record, yes. Yes. That might have been it. Fuck Gail. Totally good. Yeah, every, well, every you remember knows. your way. I'll remember it my way. All right. <laughs> Either way, it's a nightmare. Wait, wait, wait. So, <laughs> so you, mom, think that you guys? I, I proposed on the deck. Yeah. Deck. Yeah. It wasn't romantic. Uh, I <laughs> proposed in New York. So, did you okay. think something was fishy when you left in your truck, came back with in a no, taxi? No truck. <laughs> <laughs> no, see, that's that why we talked happen. about it here. I called up my mother. We decided we'd go up there and look for a ring. And he sold his truck to get the cash to go up there. And you just had to drive your uh, cop car every day? Yes, we drove her car, Celica. Yeah, I had. He had the cop car. He had a and I nice had my Celica. Car, so he did. He felt like he didn't. She need a Yeah, she had a Celica. Hmm. Four speed, four or five speed. <laughs> the one I, I just, waxed. She's like, I always just put it in drive. <laughs> I just kept it in one gear See, the whole she time. Could, she used <laughs> to be able to one. drive a it's stick simple. shift. A little bit. <laughs> I. I. All right, so we got up to the proposal. Is that the end of this session? No, no, no. So, <laughs> he's so done with this. So <laughs> these are haunting memories. This is all within yeah, a I'm year. Getting, I'm getting sick. <laughs> this is all within a year that all this happened. I don't know. Like Andrew, think I think some, we were. I, I think we met. We got engaged three months later and married another three months later. So I think it was all within six months. Wow! Jesus Christ! Frank and I are getting married on our 11 year. I mean, yeah, well, yeah. we had already, well, we were older. We had already been married before. So you just settled? Yeah. <laughs> After two or three marriages. Oh, it's yeah. I mean, I got tired of Juan. <laughs> I kept looking at my dogs. <laughs> kept, eyeing up, kept looking at me. Kept eyeing up the beagle. <laughs> And he was, he, no. as you can tell, was very nice and accommodating in the beginning. Nothing like he ended up being. Oh, stop it, you. I have videos of how sweet and quiet and nice you were. I, quiet. I believe both of you. It's just what marriage yeah, we'll does to you. We'll get these, play these videos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're all of those little cassette things. No, those are out in the woods. You'll see the change <laughs> over the years. Yeah. Along with the hair. To the yelling, it. screaming maniac. <laughs> <laughs> Look what I lived with. <laughs> um, 
my. <laughs> so, at what? So, you got married. Let's say so. First year, you're moved in. Uh, F. Uh, well, at the wedding, didn't mom like? Not crash her car, but you didn't know how to park. No. I- <laughs> it was down at the hotel in Columbia. And I guess did we both spend the night here? I don't remember. Or did you spend at your mother's? I don't remember. But I ended up driving there by myself, I think. And <laughs> I was running late. So <laughs> in your <laughs> gown. <laughs> so um, in your wedding gown? No, I had to go into wow. the hotel and get Thank dressed. Oh. I think. So in your underwear. No, I just had jeans or something. (laughs) But they have like a little circle in front of the hotel. And that's where, you know, because I was running late, I just wanted to park there in that circle. And I I couldn't, I couldn't do it. I couldn't back it up and (laughs) park it. So I just kind of left it. I just (laughs) left it and ran it and threw the keys at somebody else and said, go take care of my car. (laughs) Here, Jerome, take my keys. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, sir, man. (laughs) Uh, You're illegal, no. Mexican. Take my keys. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Those didn't exist uh, in the 80s. Uh, uh. But then that wasn't the last time I ended up with another uh, black guy? A sports car <laughs> with a stick shift. <laughs> Later on, I guess before I the Nissan. got pregnant with you. When I was sick. Oh, you were in a cast. When you, when you broke your leg. Uh-oh. Dad just downplayed it a bunch. What? You were in a cast. You had a broken ankle. I had lungs full of blood yeah, clots. You, you, I was on my deathbed. No, I think he's talking about a different... You guys went to another wedding, and she was in a cast. No, we're talking about... She the, was drive, trying to drive the Nissan with a cast. No, I wasn't. We're, I think we're telling two different stories. No. Mom's talking about why she got the Nissan. Because she broke her leg. I always wanted one of those cars. So when I was sick in the ICU at Hopkins, he, I think, pulled, put a poster of it or something up in the room and said that if you make it through this, I'll buy you one of these. If your yeah. leg heals, I'll buy you a car. Yeah, she, it wasn't she, your leg. She got like you a blood live, clot. Because she, I was she almost died. basically oh, oh, coding yeah. because oh. <laughs> okay. she, like, my heart her and lungs. And like a clot f- blocked something. That's right. Yeah, it almost uh, didn't exist. Who cares if mom made it or not? We almost didn't exist. The ambulance <laughs> took her to Howard County General, but then they flew her. No, Jesus. they, they took went, I went right. by no, ambulance. No, no, they went by ambulance to they get to uh, John's office. <laughs> and you followed in a police car. Yeah. You got permission to take <laughs> the cruiser boat. with lights and sirens. <laughs> so anyway, she had a Nissan. Nice Nissan. <laughs> See, he forgot about it, but I reminded him. <laughs> How did you... What? Reminded me of what? I reminded you that you promised me it. Oh. I'm fucking alive. Give, wanted, me, give I, me a car. I wanted it too. <laughs> yeah, he wanted it too. I wanted it to be automatic. <laughs> He's like, you don't buy a sports car. Yeah, no. you, don't, you don't buy a sports car. But she ended up selling it to her sister who had never paid us for it. And, and then he, then one day. God, she's just a bitch all around. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah let's not get into One that. day. I was out and it started. It was snowing, and I guess I was late getting home or something. So he put a call in and gave my tag number, and the police were out looking for me. <laughs> Dad abused the shit out of his police power. Yes, yes, he did. <laughs> it was different then. <laughs> we were, we you were, could do it back then. It, you could do it. Yeah, that said, you could do it back. Then. Yeah, I, I was, everybody knew well, everybody. One story yeah. that you'd probably be interested in, Jonathan, was when I did get sick. I was at home, and Dad was at work. I forget if he was. It was. Um, what did you call it before and after shifts? Um, Evening. What debriefing or something? I don't know oh, whether briefing. it was before or after shift. I don't remember. But he was in one of those groups. Briefing. Talking. And I was not feeling well, and I was kind of coming in and out, passing in and out, so I called the police station. And I forgot who it was now. One of the guys that answered the phone, I knew, and he he knew who I was, so he started goofing around with me. And I was like, no, really, I need to talk to Andy now. And he was just kept goofing around on the phone with me. And then finally, 
when it when dad got on i i was like either you come right home now lights and sirens or i'm hanging up and calling 911 for an ambulance and he knew how serious it was well it and he got home and as soon as he walked in the door he called for an ambulance um but the point being that howard county police department changed the procedure that if a family member calls and asks to speak to one of their officers they have to ask is this an emergency they never asked that oh. hmm. before huh. because that guy so kept goofing around with it. me and here i was dying <laughs> Damn. <laughs> the rest is history <laughs> You mean don't talk about it? No, I think he's done. No, <laughs> no. no it means... The re- it, that set the precedent. Yeah. The rest is his. She what? set that rule. What happened to the dude? Nothing. Dude. Nothing, nothing happened. happened. No. <laughs> Took a vacation. I, I didn't remember. I didn't know. He wasn't there. I forgot. It. What, do you remember Permanent what? vacation. Uh, probably Jim Resky. No, it was a black guy. Black guy. Oh, I okay. swear to God, no, no. Oh, that's going to be okay. instead of the opening theme Herb song. Urban Charity. I'm just no, gonna, I don't, it wasn't no, Herb, but it was somebody kind of like Herb. That I, I'm going to edit that That I knew that and that was fun. And <laughs> Frank Williams. I don't know who that is. You know, I can't okay. remember Never mind. Okay. All right. Let's uh, end this session. We'll pick right. this up. <laughs> that was good. I, at a later yeah. date. I hope that uh, enlightened. What happened to poor Franny? We lost her. Oh, Franny. She didn't, I took over her mic, and she got stuck with the kids. That's all right. Do we want to... Uh, Dad can jump off, and, and we can... All right, we'll just end No, it's fine. That was good. We we, we kind of jumped around a lot, but yeah. I learned a lot, and... Yeah, that was, I like that. So, well, I assumed you, you would want to just get this totally done with. Like, you're you're cool doing more. He's not saying yeah. that. Yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> He's like, God, I, I we hope get I get trampled by skip so much. Yeah, really. I don't know where we're going to pick it up, uh, but you were bored, I guess. Yeah, sure. But at least they talked a little bit about police. I don't think I ever told you any stories about me working in the ER. There you go. But that's I had so many that's. different... Yeah, we just jumped through it. I feel like... She yeah. has some amazing stories about how she saved lives. No one cares. I really did, and he's being a jerk. <laughs> She took I, what pressure. I said. You, amazing stories, amazing. I don't no, remember. I'm them. sure you do. Really, no, you she'd don't. tell me every night yeah. how many lives See, she saved. He You're would. So he lying. hated coming I, home I and talking about work. Can't tell if he's being sarcastic. Not a communicator. <laughs> can't tell if he's being a dick. You don't bring your home. You work home. See, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You want me to come home and talk really... about a, a crib death? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Uh, hey, today we had a suicide. Boy, you ought to see. It was a nice, pretty rope. <laughs> it was. Why he wasted no, it I on. Not. <laughs> okay. Could have used that to string up a tire. Yeah, I could have. Why he Make wasted a tire swing. It. For his kids. His kids <laughs> yeah. found him. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, he died in the crib. What a waste. Oh, good rope. <laughs> That's not, All right, to that's, be continued. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Dad. Love uh, you both. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> Love you guys. Uh, this is where I guess I'll just say the movingoutcast.com. Listen to us. Uh, what's the title of this episode? Oh, it's up to you. I guess it'll just be named after Dad. The Forging of Two Souls. No. The coming together of two souls. Well, Mom and Dad about. meet. <laughs> At this point, this is where I'm going to do the fade out effect, and then the music starts right about. Right, I'll just edit this as I go. Am I plugged? <clears throat> what, are you I can hear me, but I can't can hear you him. Hear can you hear anyone? Yeah. I mean, I can hear you guys through the Did outside, not through my ears. Am I supposed to hear you through my you ears? You should hear us through the ears. I can't hear anyone. You can't hear us. Yeah. I'm plugged in. You're plugged in. Doop a doop doop. That's what I'm trying to say. I can scoop doop dab it bop bop a doop. I can hear him. Your mother can't hear anything. You can't hear anything. Do not do 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 boop. You can now.
Ba-dum, so you, ba-dum, you were lying. Ba-dum, 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 Anyone can hear me? Gary, can can you anyone hear, hear me? Luna, can you hear me? Gary, you know what? As long as if you can hear what you're saying, that's all that matters. <laughs> I can hear true. you guys, but not through my ear. Like, how do I explain it? Do I get you. Room. Don't knock my beer over. I swear to God. I did. They don't Throw go in anymore. Beer, you knock she over, I'll in. kill you. Yeah, she's plugged in. But it's okay. I mean, I can hear. Do you Good. want my? Do you want the other end of my earbud? Really? No. Then no. we'll have to get close. Yeah. So using the headphones really just makes you cognizant of 